Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay guys, I have it for you for this late evening, uh, Saturday. All at sea group build, featuring my paper kit, 1-200 scale. Armored Cruiser, USS Brooklyn, 1880, 1898. Spanish American War. Okay guys, it's probably been about a little over a week since you last seen this uh, on the tube. A lot of progress has been done on it, and I got miles and miles and more to go. And uh, well, hopefully by probably the end of this month, I should have this thing done. And uh, so I'm gonna do a little bit of work tonight while this uh, video is uploading. And I'm pretty busy on this Brooklyn. I'm gonna tell you guys, these uh, these type of vessels and. In view are very, uh, very highly detailed subjects to model. They got so many pieces of these things. This kit's got about three, four thousand parts to it. It's got a lot of parts. A lot of them are very, very small. You got to cut out. You got to use these things here, and uh, they help. They really do. And uh, so, like I say, anybody wants to venture into a Spanish-American War type vessel like like the uh, the Brooklyn and the Maine and the Olympia, Olympia, uh, you're in for a treat. Especially the card kits, uh, especially uh, this type of uh, company who makes this one. Whoever uh, they designed this kit in Ukraine, and they must have got a blueprint somehow. This thing is pretty well spot on. I'd look at the real pictures of Nav Source on doing a little bit of research to. Uh, to get a good, a good feel of the model. The only annoying thing about the kit, guys, is that anybody's got uh, uh, or or l o r e l or l card models. What this is, what this one is, is they they got these box number. These parts got box numbers on, them. and they got all these lines go all the way down to indicate the position where the parts are glued to, and. Uh, Believe you me, you know, you get cross-sided after looking at it for a while because those, those, right, those lines are running in together. So it's very, like I say, it's very helpful to use these things. They, 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 cut, they clear that problem pretty good. And uh, this is the only card kit I've ever built that, that, that's quite different than the usual. And most of them are all Polish uh, designs, but this thing is designed in Ukraine. And uh, they put a great effort of engineering into this kit. I mean, uh, kidding not, this thing to haul and everything, uh, uh, the framework to it is just, it's, it's a strong haul. So you have to worry about warping on you when you put the skins on. So this is a very, very difficult kit to build. So if anybody wants to venture on one of these, you're in for uh, Neopodies be, uh, be warned. Okay, we're going to take a look at it. I'll show you what Frankie Day did to it. And there she is right there. And we'll get a little closer view to it right there. These stacks not glued on. I just kind of tacked them on a little bit, just give it a little bit of scale. I've got all the funnels done in this thing. And uh, I've been doing some tuning up the hull. I've been cleaning up sanding here and there. And uh, just do a little clean up because once in a while I get a little glue on my fingers and it'll stick to the side of that hull and I can see it, you know, and I and I'll go ahead and uh, and, and I'll turn around and, uh, and use a, a nice, real, real super fine sanding board and buff that bad boy out. So I got all those funnels on there. This thing really had some kind of a ventilation problem back in these days. Like I say, I never seen so many funnels in my life on a man of war ship. But that was the design of this. The United States Navy needed a, a whole brand new Navy. And they got away from these clunky old ironclads and these clunky old iron hull ships with wood mast and spars. They got the ass shelter deck all buttoned in. They got the open casements right here. I got casement shutter bay doors got to be glued on here. And I'll install that probably by tomorrow sometime. I'm always constantly doing this, buffing these things out a little bit with this nice little sandboard here. It really does the job, guys. I love these little 
it, it works, it cooperates very well with me with uh, paper. You want to use nothing more, uh, more grit. Have your sandpaper, you, you tear the printing out in the paper. Paper go with it. So I got this all tied in, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to start working on the boat cradles. Those boat cradles are going to be a job. <clears throat> I kid you not, it's going to be a job. And uh, once I get the book cradles all done, I'm going to go ahead and start to add the forward superstructure up forward and get that all done along with the mast. Then I'm going to proceed aft of this location here on the shelter deck. Another mast will pop up too. So once I get that part there starting at the bow, I'm going to start adding all the parts on this thing and get it all done and fix and ever do everything that goes to the bow to get done. And I'll work myself forward uh, after the superstructure where the stacks are at. On the stacks, I'm going to take them out. And what I'm going to do, I got some doweling. I'm going to stick doweling inside there to give it a little extra strength because I need to drill some holes through here to add my rings so I can add my guy wires through here. Now another chore here I'm going to have fun. You got these rungs, these little ladders. They climb up all the way up the top to the funnel cap. And you got to cut these U-shaped pieces of card out of the thing. They got zillions in there. If only you knew how much there was uh, uh, quantity wise I'd be amazed. But I say there's a, a lot. I mean a real lot. So I got a lot of stuff to do in this thing, so I'm gonna start cutting out the, uh, the cradles, the boat cradles, get them position, and it's got a lot more deck fittings I gotta add inside here too as I go along. I love these, these, these card models, guys. They're very challenging, especially a, a Spanish American War pre dreadnought like this right here. These are very challenging ships, and, uh, and I love building these things. So this is a good little winter project. It's something I just uh, I really wasn't planning on doing, and uh, I don't want to let go on it. I got to get that Poker D7 done your way, fellas, so you guys can be able to uh, see that. So this is a beautiful ship. She was scrapped back in 1921 during the Washington Treaty Program. The Washington Treaty Program, they more or less got rid of the, uh, of the old uh, ships like this one right here. And uh, they got better ones coming in the deal. And we got a lot of dreadnoughts back in World War I that made that, uh, that really, uh, about 30 years later, I mean, that these things were actually were superseded. And uh, these things, are, they, they just did their job. They're an old Navy. They are good. They were designed for battleship to battleship, cruiser to cruiser, and, uh, and no need for shell shore bombardment like they did back in World War II. These things duked it out. They ain't gonna waste no shells on land. And uh, this one here didn't participate in the Battle of Manila Bay with Dewey. I think it was put to San Diego, somewhere else, and did some pummel, some damage there. And uh, she brought home the unknown soldier from the battleship Maine, and uh, she won some uh, pretty good combination awards for her day. And. Uh, this thing is very prickly. I mean, you got guns. You can see these guns. This thing is loaded with guns. I tell you one thing: you don't want to get in the way in this thing if you want to go to battle. The kid gives you an option: you either you can have them st stick them out like this, or you can have the shutter bays open and uh, revealing the guns. So I, I like to have them open like this. So far, this has been a pretty excellent kit. I, I've ran into no fit issues at all in this kit here at all, and. Uh, 
it goes together very, very well. And uh, anybody has experience with building something like this, you should have no problems. Like I say, the most aggravating thing there is is right here, guys. Let me show you something right, right here. See all the, all the donors here? They got lines go all the way down here. I kid you not, guys. That is aggravating. You got to study and look at these illustrations on here and just see how those parts go. Just go keep it going. And uh, this is a very, very uh, difficult build to, to go underway with, but it takes a lot, it takes time. Model building is a very, very time-consuming uh, hobby. And uh, if, if going gets good, which it is, I should have this thing done by the end of this week, end of end of, uh, end of this month. If not, by taking it to taking it to February sometime. And I get that big B24 coming your way too, guys. I know you guys are, are very anxious and zealous of me uh, getting that thing on the way for you. It hey, would go on YouTube. These guys got them in their stash. I saw a lot of guys sending bucks of views of them. <clears throat> they felt about as, about as good as I did, you know. Like I was really, uh, I was really uh, excited to all get out and go. I got that kid for Christmas. My little baby's got them for me, and uh, I'm a very, very happy man still. Okay, guys. We'll see this camera around to me and we'll finish up the video. I'm going to try to explain what we're we'll doing. I got to uh, organize my workload here instead of working too much time on this. I could probably do a little bit here or there of this thing and I can bring out something else to finish up. But I need to finish up that that book that he said. It wouldn't take long at all to finish that up. I think what I'll do, I'm going to cut out some boat cradles for this thing tonight and go ahead and start preparing the cabin and struts and interplane struts for my bunker and get that top wing on there and finish up the rest of the parts of that thing and uh, get a, a final reveal. I'm gonna, I got a good piece of wood that I found. Bigger than this though. I think I got this out uh, Hobby Lobby. They got big ones out. This is a big square piece right there, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mount that. Uh, that fucker new saddle on it. Gonna be it. I put a little bit of railroad grass on there. And uh, so this thing here is really keep me going. Okay, and I'll probably be uh, I probably worked on another card model too as I go along. I've got a lot of good card models coming in. I've got the uh, I got the SS uh, Frisca. And the battleship Maine, and that battleship Maine is really uh, sort of taught me. Uh, and I was thinking about working on back to back on get these car models, you know, guys. So I get car models in my system, and pretty soon I'll I'll get, go into wood and go into plastic. I'm all over the place. And I gotta get the USS Lexington going for uh, Charlie Max uh, USS Lexington group bill. I think that expires about another month or so from now. So I gotta get, turn to that and get her get, get her done and get her put away. So as of now, I'm working on the Brooklyn and, uh, and I'll be bringing some other stuff to come your way. I gotta go back to my uh, last videos that I've done and start uh, replying back to you guys. Uh, I'm very deeply sorry that I haven't replied back to you because I've been on this and working. And of course the holidays got on there. And I hope everybody had a wonderful, safe New Year's. No one get too loaded and get get thrown in the in the brig. You don't want to go there. It's worse stuff waking up with a sore head in the morning and then have a sore head with with brig time included. I don't want to go there. So I'm very happy you guys had a good New Year and a good Christmas and everything. And this is a good year. We got a lot of plastic coming in. Now that B-24 came out last month. I was very amazed that it came out that soon. I was thinking it would probably come out in a couple months from now. But uh, that was a very good Christmas present from Hobby Boss. Hobby Boss, 
Thank you very much for releasing that B24 Liberator to all those good model community fellows out here. Uh, we are very uh, much appreciated. Thank you, sir. That'd be it. Okay, this is it for me. This is Frankie Day signing off for Frankie Day Models. This is it for the USS Brooklyn. And uh, next video will be coming up. It'll probably be by Sunday. And uh, might be some more stuff on the Brooklyn. And uh, it's something else. You never know. I'm, I'm unpredictable. <laughs> anyway, guys, make Mama happy. Take care of your babies. Stay focused. We drive your car. Spend wisely. And uh, buy yourself a model. Got snow coming in. And it's going to get cold outside. And uh, nothing's better than being a nice, cozy, warm home. And your man cave building a nice model. And no cares, no one to heckle you. No, nothing to bother you. Okay, I would think I'm going to heckle out of here right now. This is Frankie Day for Frankie Day Models. You guys take care of boys. Catch you Sunday for another update report on the USS of Brooklyn and what else is there. And you take care, fellas. God love you guys. Take care, boys.